Sunshine Broccoli, it is good to talk to you folks, especially today, because today is Halloween. Ooh, Ooh scary uh. stuff. Before we talk about what we're going to talk about, I'm going to ask you both, what were your favorite Halloween moments growing up? Did you have a favorite costume or a favorite candy that you liked or a moment that happened? Uh, my favorite costume was Ghostbusters. I was uh, Ghostbusters, and my other friend was Slimer and the State <laughs> Marshmallow Man. And it was the best experience. We had such a fun time. And um, I got a lot of candy because of that costume. So uh, I think it really worked out really well. Oh, I wanted to see who Slimer was. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Sunshine, yeah. what about yourself? I think for me growing up, being in, in, in the area, we just had so many friends. We would all go trick-or-treating together. My costumes were like a little bit lame. I'm not going to lie. They were like a lot of DIYs. But um, we all went together. I remember one year we were all um, baseball girls. So we put like, you know, all the... But it was fun. It was a community, you know, all, everybody in the neighborhood. And you knew everybody because you went to school with them. So that was a lot of fun. And you know what? That's a good safety tip. And that's what we're going to talk about right now our family Halloween safety tips for the kids to remember before they go out trick-or-treating. So, uh, Sunshine, I'm going to start with you. What are some of the things that we should, you know, do even before we leave? Like, are things we should be checking the kids' costumes or anything we should be adding to it? Like, what are some of the things that we should be worrying about even before we leave? Absolutely, guys. Safety first. As a mom of two, it is very important for me to put the labels of my kids' names, our address, and our phone number tucked away somewhere in the costume. So just a safety precaution, just something really good to think about just in case somebody runs off and somebody finds them. Okay, so, so important with that. Broccoli, what is uh, a tip that you can think about? Like, you know, whether it be for the costumes or anything like that? Um, well, one thing is like have kids maybe carry glow sticks or flashlights to help them see, you know, at night because, and to always make eye contact with drivers, just in case if you're wearing masks, so so nothing's obstructed or anything. And um, save some candy for your siblings. That might be a good thing to do too. Um, don't eat all of your chocolate at once. And um, also make sure if anything's unwrapped, don't eat it and get your parents to check your um your candy before you eat it that is so important that one was like drilled into my head as a kid you could get the candy but you weren't allowed to open or touch any of it until your parents dumped it over on the table went through it and then let you know which ones you can have or you can't have sunshine what are some other tips that you can think of for kids uh for families going out there for halloween one thing that you did mention when you said earlier was about the neighborhood. You were in a familiar neighborhood. Can you talk maybe even a little bit about that too or anything else you wanna to add to it? Yes, for sure. I think one thing is we know that this weather is never predictable in our beautiful city. So I wanna say, let's not ruin, if it's raining, that's okay. We gotta just be equipped. So let's put our kids in lots of layers, Let's make it as enjoyable for them, whether if it's raining, we'll have an umbrella. Maybe we can add that to the costume. But also what's very important is numbers. Go with a group of people. If you're 10 and under, definitely be accompanied by a parent or a guardian or somebody who's older than you. Um, but safety first, guys, that is the most important. Brock, I want to add to something that, that Sunshine just said and what you said earlier uh, about with the glow sticks and things like that. And the other thing I always learned too was two things and agree or disagree, or I'd love to hear your comment, comments on it. Number one, kids can get excited holding hands and running across the street, you know, like not watching the lights. Talk a little bit about that, please. Yeah, the, it, you just have to take these safety precautions quite seriously. I mean, it, it can get exciting. You're dressed up, Halloween's happening, and you're with your friend hold your hand, but always look both ways and take it slow because there's a lot of action happening. There are a lot of ghouls and ghosts and there's a lot of things to look at. So there can be many distractions. So make sure that the, the least distractions as possible. Put your phones down. Don't look at your phones. Look at your friends. You're there to enjoy the outdoors 
and just have the safest and best time as you possibly can. And I want to add that to the drivers too. Drivers, be very careful at that time period because the trick-or-treaters are going to be definitely out there. So, you know, drive with a little bit of caution. That's always important. Sunshine, before we wrap up these safety tips too, um, I'm going to ask you and then Brock, I'm going to ask you because we did talk about uh, trick-or-treating, Halloween candy and stuff like that. Number one, what do you think it is the best container or bag to use for trick-or-treating what was your favorite and two what was your favorite halloween candy oh this is a good one i bought my sons actually a personalized pumpkin that they can carry so hopefully they'll be able it's a plastic one don't worry um hopefully they'll have it for, for years to come and it has their name on it so that's super exciting candy wise rudy I can't pick one. I, uh, I was that kid who stayed up all night eating all the candy. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duff said that means your kids are going to have to hide their candy because mommy may eat them all out before, no before dawn. Broccoli, what would you say is the best container maybe to use for carrying uh, your Halloween candy? And what was your favorite Halloween candy? So, well, what container I used to use, my parents gave me a garbage bag because I could fill it with that much more candy. And, um, and it that was me. It. That was you too. <laughs> yeah. So it was quite, um, uh, when I came home, I had a huge, massive pile of candy to choose from. And the candy that I would eat first right away were Kit Kats. Those little Kit Kats. I would just, I'm sorry, but that rub, 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 rub and coffee crisp i think I, I have asked so many celebrities about this it, almost everybody i would say if i did a survey 85 percent to 90 percent it's the kit kat those little bars seem to be the best thing to eat and it sounds like there's going to be a lot more of that being chowed down this year folks thank you so much for the Halloween safety tips. I hope your families have a great Halloween too. Thank you again, guys, and all the best. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.